Hancock Whitney Stadium, Mobile, Alabama, the 73rd Senior Bowl. Titans general manager John Robinson joining me, Mike Keith here, as uh, we talk about what is to come as the page turns to 2022. You begin this process, where do you start? Yeah, I mean, we've gone through some some draft meetings already in early December, Mike. You know, our scouts have been on the road, going to games, going to practices around the uh, country at colleges. Um, and now it's really my first exposure during this All-Star season to to the prospects, getting down to sit, you know, sit, get to know them a little bit. Um, they're brief interactions, but at least it's a first impression on the player uh, and a great opportunity this week to watch these guys come out here and compete. Why is the Senior Bowl such an indicator of guys not only being drafted but making an NFL roster? Well, I think it's, you know, it's the competition level. It's the, the you know, it's the best of the best that can come out for one week. And, and you, you get a lot of individual one-on-ones. I mean, we pay uh, particular attention to those uh, reps because in the NFL game, that's what it ultimately comes down to is who can win the one-on-one matchups. Are the linemen actually guys that are easier to project from here with what you're able to watch, both offensive and defensive? You can see the technical side of, of, of their skills, um, their hand placement, their pad level, their footwork. Um, it's something that they can work on uh, throughout the course of the week of practice, and it gives us something to really evaluate. Supposedly, according to all the prospect lists, six of the top seven quarterbacks, at least for right now, are here in Mobile. If you watch a quarterback and you grade a quarterback at the Senior Bowl, what sorts of things are you looking for? A lot of the same things you're looking for during the season. You know, it's uh, decision-making, accuracy. Is he over-talking to the receivers after they have a rep? Is he talking to the linemen after a 9-on-7 period that's about the run fits? You know, his interaction with his teammates, but certainly the productivity that he has throughout the course of the week, ball placement, and, and how quickly can he acclimate himself uh, to a bunch of different receivers because these guys really haven't thrown to these guys before. So uh, it's a good measuring stick. What do you like about the edge rushers that are here in Mobile this week? You've got some guys that have some versatility that can kick down into a three technique and rush in there as well. Um, but there's some fastball guys. I mean, there's some guys with some juice off the edge um, that can speed rip, you know, around these tackles and get pressure. Uh, it'll be interesting to evaluate those types of players, those fastball guys, uh, to see what their counter move is when these tackles set them for, for speed. Can they counter and rush with power? Do they have a counter move to spin back inside? You know, what's their answer to what the tackle is going to do to them? Six straight winning seasons, playoffs for the last five years and three straight. What's the key in this offseason to keep that going for the Tennessee Titans? Continuing to build it, Mike, like we have every year. You know, this isn't the first time that we've, you know, kind of gone through this. I think it's going to be important for us. Next year's team is going to look different than this past year's team. We did a lot of good things throughout the course of the season, but, you know, it's time to build. It's time to try to take that next step. You know, we had the first overall seed. We won the division again. You know, certainly we're all disappointed that we weren't able to finish the season, but there's only one team that holds that trophy at the end of the season. We want to continue to work and try to build and try to be that one team. Last year, you made defense a priority, and the defense certainly got better. It doesn't seem like there's that one area that you have to have specific improvement to take the next step. Is it going to be a lot of little things in this offseason? Yeah, probably so. You know, there was a lot of noise made last year about the coordinator position, you know, about that we needed to do this and we needed to do that, and we stuck with what we believed in. You know, the dividends were paid this year with the way we came out and played defense. So we've got to continue to improve on that side of the ball, but it's not like it's a massive overhaul there. John Robinson with us, and obviously here all week as the Titans staff goes through interviews, watches practices, and prepares for what's coming up, and that is – the 73rd Senior Bowl this Saturday at 1.30. From Hancock Whitney Stadium with John Robinson, I'm Mike Keith. Thanks for joining us.